Daryl from Pearland has a question about a sticking door. It's in his glass sunroom. And mm. I know you love those sunrooms. But here's the deal. Daryl writes, every summer it expands and makes it difficult or impossible to open this door. I've had several sunroom vendors come out and look at it, but no one has a solution. I'm afraid to open the door because it's possible I won't be able to lock it again afterwards. So, Tom, what do you suggest? Well, I... I it has to be fixed. I have a feeling it's one of those add-on sunrooms, okay? Okay. These things are not the greatest things in the world to have. And I have a feeling it's not really the door that's sticking. It's everything is moving in the summer because it gets hot. And the ground and the concrete they poured and the way the, the structure is moving back and forth. So I think it's a, a combination of more than just a door that's expanding. I don't think the door is expanding. I think the whole structure is moving. And I don't know if you can do a lot about it. I don't know what the door is made out of. It's a metal door. If it's a uh, wooden door, I doubt it's a wooden door. It's probably going to be some kind of aluminum frame door. And all I can tell you is, is you might have to live with it or try to adjust it. But I have a feeling that the whole thing is moving. And quite frankly, those those add-on sunrooms and, and and patio covers and stuff, they have a life that only goes so long. And then nobody's going to work on them and you end up tearing them down. And I, I don't want to ruin your day, but mm -hmm. that's about all I can say on that one. I just think the whole thing is moving because of the weather and the way the ground is shifting and the way it was attached to your house. Is it possible that he might be able to get the foundation under that thing shored up so it's not moving as much? God, I'd hate to see him do that. What I would rather see him do yeah. is go to Door Clearance Center and maybe replace it with a different door that's a little oh. that they can shave a little bit and give you a little gap, and you can try to fix it with some weather stripping and just give enough gap so when the thing moves, uh, you're better off. So I think I would attack the door to try to get one that, is a little undersized. They can shave it. You know, at Door Clearance mm -hmm. Center, they have all the equipment, and they can just get one that might just fit the opening a little loose. You might have a little gap. You might have to get yeah. some foam or something once in a while for a weather strip. But I think that's going to be your answer. And I don't know of anybody that's going to come in and try to fix the one you have because it's a packaged yeah. kit. Right, and it's going to keep moving. So, you know, now you know this is the extreme at one place. So build for that and then be ready to fill for the rest is what you're saying. Yes, I, I really do. I, I, I wish I had a picture of this, actually, but maybe next time you can send one. But yeah. that's all I can say without a picture. Well, I think you have painted a perfect picture on what to do about it. Okay. All right. You got a question? Tom will get his art history going and paint a picture for you. Just go ahead. By the way, you can send us pictures. Go to homeshowradio.com. Fill out the Ask Tom form. And at the bottom, there's a place you can attach a picture. We'd love to get them. And then Tom can answer your question. We'll post a video answering it. Uh, we post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com, Facebook, and our YouTube channel.